Imagine life on the run only because you were caught at the scene of a murder. Left to become wanted across the entire nation, from small cities, beach valleys, the whole country in general. Hi, my name is Avery Asbury, and today I'm in, I'm presenting you with this book talk of Van Gogh, Between Sky and Earth by Timothy Fonbell, translated by Sarah Artisan. In this book, a 18-year-old boy looking to enter adulthood named Van Gogh Romero, hence the name, is caught at the scene of a murder and He's left to become wanted across the nation, and every day he's leaving his settlement, as you would say, because he can't stay somewhere too long or else he'll be found and killed because of laws. They didn't have as much peace as we do in America today. And just for your information, this book takes place in Notre Dame, Paris, 1934, which is a quite a long bit ago. So... At the beginning of this book, Van Gogh is a very outgoing and risk-taking person, but as the book proceeds, he becomes more paranoid and second-guesses himself a lot because he really matures and realizes what will happen if he gets caught. He, he won't be, like, thrown in prison for a year. No, no, no. He'll be thrown and get slaughtered. So a common theme of this book is those who have courage and proceed. No persevere, will uh, overcome their challenges. For example, in this book, Van Gogh, he has to persevere to try to clear his name, which was really hard because it's not like, hey, I'm innocent. It didn't go like that. They were like, you had to do trials and all that stuff, and it was very complicated. My favorite character in this book is Town's Bell Ringer, Simon, who rang the bells if there was any danger or emergencies. He was very sarcastic. I love sarcasm. And he was a bit paranoid. And those combined makes a pretty wicked character. I think this was a really great book. And if you like Paris and like in the 1900s, you should read this. So what are you waiting for? Find the book. See you next time.